Hey guys, if you want to know how I got this full face of makeup just using $30 worth of Dollar Tree makeup, stay tuned and we can get into it right now. Hello my beautiful bombshells and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Cherry Jess and in today's video I wanted to make a Dollar Tree full face of nothing but Dollar Tree makeup. Um, I did get a lot of items. I spent about uh, close to $30 on Dollar Tree makeup items and uh, got as much as I could. I don't have everything because they just didn't have it there. But I do have most of it and what I don't have, I have been compensated by getting my other products that I have. Uh, in other words, if I, there's a lot of products here that are from ELF, Wet n Wild, LA Colors. So what I did, I substituted what I didn't have for something I already had in stock from either ELF or Wet n Wild, you know, things of that nature. So um, we will create a whole face and I will let you know as I go um, which items were not dollar store purchase and which were so that you know uh, what you can find at your local dollar tree I should say dollar tree because that's why I went the cleansing cloth I already used cleansed my face I had already moisturized did all that so now I can go straight into the next thing okay now what I'm using this is from my own stash this wasn't a dollar tree um, product that I was I didn't find it in the Dollar Tree. This is the e.l.f. Luminous Matte Makeup Primer with Acai Berry. Okay, so we got that done. Now, um, what they had for foundation was an exactly great selection. It's this brand, never heard of before, first time hearing it. It's called Sassy and Chic moisturizing foundation and their assortment was light medium or dark that's it so I went with medium and dark figuring I would mix until I got the right color okay so I took a, a squirt of each one of the two put it on the, my little glass here plastic glass actually <laughs> and I'm mixing them up just so I can get what I think would be closer to my skin color let's see how this works all right maybe I made it a little too dark Okay, so, so far, the, cap, the color matched up pretty well, um, considering that I mixed it myself. Um, it's giving me coverage, but I wouldn't say full coverage, because, see, oh, I'm dropping things, sorry. I have a humongous pimple right there that I nicely popped beforehand, and now it's bright red. So, it didn't do too much of covering it. It covered it slightly, but not too much. Now, before I put some powder on, I usually like to conceal under my eyes. So, they had this uh, LA Colors Conceal uh, think it's I mean a little tiny thing but tube and doesn't have much with it other than the color is beige so that was the only one left they only had this one left of concealer so I didn't have a choice in color type this was the only concealer I found doesn't look like it did too much but it did a little something let me put a little more and maybe not use this beauty sponge there maybe just yet just my finger I'll put it directly in the darkest part right here all right so it's doable we can work with it we're gonna move on from that one. all right so the next thing I like to do um, in my beauty uh, routine first let's get some powder on actually this is the LA colors uh, pressed powder in again beige the only one they had 
Let's see, can you see? Okay, it is focusing now. Now, I did get some uh, beauty brushes that were all wet and wild for the dollar store. Blush brush, the contour brush, large concealer brush, and a few of their eyeshadow brushes. So we have the crease brush, the large eyeshadow, the smoky liner, and the angled liner. The beige looks kind of light. I don't know if it's gonna work for me, but did it even pick anything up? I didn't see anything. All right, it's working a little. I just needed to do a little, that's it. I don't need it to do a whole lot. All right, on to the next thing. Now comes the eyebrows, one of my favorite parts, but let's see how well it works. All right, so this is the LA Colors Brow Pencil in dark brown. Oh, there you go. All right, so it has a little lid that has the little brush part of it. So I'm using the little brush, and let's start trying to carve out. Seems a little light for me, even though it says it's dark brown. Doesn't look like it is, but uh, we're gonna work with it, I guess, because what else? We're doing Dollar Tree makeup. And I am leaning on my ta table with my elbow on the table so I can do this a little more steadily. Yeah, I'm not feeling this eyebrow pencil, but uh, we're gonna make do with it, I guess. Brush that all in now. Brow powder. Now, it comes with this little tiny brush. What am I gonna do with this? I'm not using that. So let me grab one of my brushes that I actually can use for that. Okay, so it's looking slightly better since I am filling it in with the darker brown and I had the pencil already kind of as the base so it's gripping to it. So it's making it look slightly better. I guess the two things combined give it the extra depth that it needs to make it darker and more like my actual hair color. So now I'll go and use the other side of that same spoolie brush that I used and take, I'm just dropping everything today. Sorry, you know, I've explained before I'm clumsy. Take the same concealer that I was using earlier and just coat this brush with it and carve out my eye. The concealer, surprisingly enough, is doing a good job of carving my eyes out, even though it's kind of like that more watery consistency, but it's moving well and covering up there all my little baby hairs that are still showing through. And it's real comfortable, so it's not too bad. I guess it's not a total loss for this. So far, so good. What do you guys think? So let's clean this up in the middle here. Same brush, just so that. I'm gonna use the clean crease brush that I bought from them from Wet Wild at the Dollar Tree and just use that just to buff out the, actually, you know what? I'm gonna use the large concealer one because I'm probably not gonna use that much for anything else. 
the rest of the time. So I might as well use that one and just buff out those corners so it doesn't look harsh. Alright, what do you guys think? I think it's better. Better. Not great, better. <laughs> My eyes still tearing. Oh my god, I don't like it. Oh wait, let's not forget the eye wax. Set it in place. All right, that's better. So now I'm gonna move on to actually doing my eyes, if I can. All right, so what I have is the e.l.f. Eyelid Primer. Okay. This one I already had, and uh, I believe this was, uh, I'll tell you right now, let me check my notes here. This was $3 on their website. So I don't know if that's how much I paid at the time, because this is kind of old. Had it for a while. But it's not much better than the concealer, it looks like. No nails on my finger and use that to buff it out. So the next thing I want to show you is the LA Color Shadow by Numbers. One, two, three, and four. And on the back, it shows you where you're supposed to apply it on there. I'm not going to follow that because I have my own ways of doing things. But basically for anyone that doesn't have the ability to know how to apply makeup, things of that nature, um, this is probably something good for you because it shows you where to apply it um, and which one goes where. I'm opening up my makeup brushes I'm going to be using. So I'm using these to make do with it however I can. <laughs> First one I'm going to use, which is number three on here, um, it's the matte color. It's kind of like a pinky tan color. I'm going to use that one first as my base color, all over color. It's really powdery. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but I'm going to use it anyway. It's barely showing up actually on my eye. Yeah, it's not showing up almost at all. It's almost the same exact color as my skin. So I'm trying to really coat the brush now to see if I can get more color out of it. It's really not doing much. All it's basically doing is just setting the primer. That's it, because I see no color whatsoever. All right, well, let me just then set the other side because it's only right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and use number one then. It's a shimmery color, but I'm going to try to use that as a, my background color. This is actually this uh, little four cube of uh, eyeshadow palette. It's called Extra Credit. I don't know why it's called that. So I'm using number one, and it's like a shimmer tan gold color. Here that shows up. Well, the shimmer is showing up a little bit. The color itself, not so much. This part of the video, we'll be zooming by.
So as of right now, this is what I'm working with. Between the brushes and the actual eyeshadow palettes, this is that result. So we're gonna leave it at that for now and move on because I have other things that I wanna use. Now I do have this LA uh, Colors Loose Face and Body Shimmer and the color is Gold Dust. I'm gonna use what's already on the lid because I don't wanna do too much else. Okay, so that, that, that works a little better. It has a little gold pigmented. It's a lot of sparkle. It's very, uh, okay, I could work with this. All right. Let's see, I can add a little of that to the brow bone area. A little pop to separate all this up here. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Very uh, glittery too, but I could deal with it. That, that helps. Just a little. Let's blend it out a little bit more though. All right, so now moving on. We have eyeliner. I have the e.l.f. I don't know if you can see that. And it comes with a little sharpener in the front. It's a pencil eyeliner. To the LA Colors Black Big Lash Mascara. This is what that looked like. All right, let me do the top of the lashes first. Ow, 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 ow. All right, tried my best with this mascara. It's on, it's not doing too much. Next it is the Wet n Wild eyelashes. They did have lashes. It comes with its own little glue that I will not be using. Okay, so I went ahead off camera and put on the eyelashes. That's that. I'm gonna go ahead and then now uh, go back with the concealer, if I can find it. My mess of products from dollar store and clean up under the eye because it's looking a little messy there put together all right so I'm gonna go ahead and just move on to the contouring I have an LA colors contour stick and I have another one in the same thing LA colors contour stick in the color bronze so if you could see the two together those are the two differences so I'm gonna go ahead and use the dark one first which is Okay, I guess. Let's get the contour brush here. just on top to see if it gives it a little more color. Um, 
All I'm seeing is kind of like a glitter. It's kind of like a shimmer it's given. Not necessarily a contour or a bronzing. Let me try this costume stick again here. Leaving it alone, I'm messing with it no more. Let me go back to now going blush. Okay, so I have a LA Colors little uh, single blush kit in the color Spice. All right, this is gonna have to work this way because what else am I gonna do? Move on to the Elf HD powder. This is one that I already had in my uh, stash. Okay, so while that's sitting there baking and uh, moisturizing, whatever it is supposed to be doing, <laughs> setting my face, I'm gonna go ahead and use the lip scrub that I got from the dollar store, and it's in the color or shade Berry Punch. Oh, it does give me a little color. Um, I think as far as the baking, I don't want to leave it too long, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove the powder now. I'm using the Morphe um, M527 brush. I know it's not a dollar store one, but it's a big fluffy one, and I needed it to go ahead and take off all the powder. So that's that. Now earlier, I had taken out the brush, where is it? This brush here, which was supposed to be the contour brush, was it? Or the concealer brush? I'm not sure what it was supposed to be. But we're gonna use that as the highlighter brush. So we have the LA Colors Highlight Color in Glow Time. But it seems really light. This is like a light pearly pink color, almost white. So I don't know how this is gonna show up, but let's see. Well. Patting it on the way I, I was, it does seem like it added quite a bit of color. But my eyes here, so it's making it worse. In that sense. But I don't think it goes with the look since it's so golden and everything else. But it does work. I actually like it. That works for now. Let's try the other side. I really like it though, considering it's a dollar someone, I really like it. Alright, so this is the LA Colors Lip Duo. It's um, a lipstick up top. Uh, you can see on the bottom half, a lip gloss. I didn't expect it to be this bright. I thought it was gonna be, when I grabbed it, I initially grabbed it just because I saw the color of the um, gloss. All right. Let's try this. This looks more of a gloss, but still very, very glittery. They didn't have a setting spray from um, the dollar store. So I'm going to just use the e.l.f. Uh, Aqua Primer Mist. I know it's a primer, but it can also serve as setting spray. Ooh, strong. Ooh, super wet. I 
think this is pretty much it for now. Um, let's take this off. Okay. I'm gonna leave my little one oh, on my hair is a mess. It's greasy, but this is the completed look. So what do you guys think? Let me zoom you guys in so you can see. Anyway, that's it for now, guys. Uh, this is a completed look. Hope you like it. Please leave me a comment down below of any um, looks that you may want to see in the future, anything you're interested in, um, how you feel about the look. Did I miss anything? <laughs> um, any brands you want me to try? You know, Let me know in the comments below. Um, in the description box below, you will see all the items that I used and the prices. Um, and you will see the links to my social media accounts with you know my Twitter, my TikTok, my um, Instagram, my Facebook. It will have my email on there as well. So if you wanted to reach out um, and ask me any questions, feel free to do so on any of my platforms. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, uh, hit the bell notification so you can be notified of our future uploads. Um, I have a lot now that I'm basically uh, told to stay home by the government. And I'll be here all week, apparently, maybe for another week or two. So I'll be making a lot of videos and uploading. So uh, give me some ideas, people. I have a lot of new makeup, a lot, a lot of stuff that I want to uh, try out. So uh, keep the comments coming. And again, hit like on the video, subscribe, hit the bell notifications. Make sure it's on all so you can be notified of all of them. And uh, I will see you soon. Bye, bombshells.